This program contains strong language from the outset and throughout. Worked in numerous call centres. One is obviously where I met Vicky Patterson. I knew Vicky from going out in Newcastle. Vicky was always the person who worked on the VIP. So I actually sat with Vicky and listened to Vicky's calls to learn from Vicky how to sell Sky. <laughs> One thing always though, I always went out four nights a week and that always seemed to take priority over work and was the main reason I normally got sacked. Then, one night changed my whole life. And tucked up, somehow I managed to go out four nights a week. I used to budget myself for like 12 pounds and just get smashed and go straight in the clubs. I was basically a skin student. The guy who runs the night, the tuk tuk was like, Gaz, I want you to meet someone. And she's like, this is Lauren, she, she works at MTV. She's like, we're looking for people to take part of this new TV show. I was smashed that night, and I must have gave this woman my number, and they must have carried on watching me for the rest of the night. And then, a couple of days passed, I got a phone call, hi, it's MTV. I was like, no. They went, could you come to do an on the camera interview? So I go, yeah, I can come on my lunch breaks. On my lunch break at Sky, I've ran into this hotel, walked in a room where there's this full, like, look like a news studio set up. And I was like, what the hell am I doing? I was so on my death. I didn't know what they were looking for. I was just chatting to this person for about an hour, just answering, like, brutally honest. And I think that's kind of like what they must have liked. And then I waited about a week and then I got a phone call and I was at Sky again. So I went down, went in this room, they put us on a chair and they went, look, congratulations, you've got the job. And I was like, yes. And that's my pre-title thing on Jordy Show was me getting the job. That is that exact moment. And yeah, that was it. And yeah, that day I quit Sky and that was the start of my uh, MTV journey. Ready to rock, ready to pull, ready to ruin someone. I'm probably the first person you'd want away from your girlfriend. I've definitely got a reputation as a player. Definitely. There's no shadow of a doubt about that. Ready for Joy Show, boys? It's so weird to think back to season one because we had no idea. All I got taught was it's, it's free food, free drink, six weeks, you live in a house, four girls, four boys. Phew, sign me up! I remember kind of packing at my house. I remember a taxi pulling up. And then a taxi went all the way in Newcastle. It was a very long taxi journey. And we pulled up the door, and I just jumped out and I walked in. And, and I remember walking through the door, and everyone was waiting in the kitchen. Fancy seeing you here. Yeah, you. Yeah, you. Yeah, you. <laughs> so, you know, people in the house. Yeah, nice to meet you, Gary. Charlotte. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Like obviously, I'm not, I've seen Vicky. I know Vicky from like around town kind of thing. I knew me and James had been on nights out before and stuff, so I knew James. So I was like, oh yeah. So yeah, I knew two people as soon as I walked in. So that, for me, massively helped. Ready? Shots, first night out. First out. Oh, yeah. Gary was the perfect candidate for Geordie Shaw. He was the lad that went out in Newcastle every single night. He was the lad that could drink and drink and drink and still couldn't really get drunk. And he was the lad that all the girls loved, but then loved to hate as well. He was Gaz. And I think he made a massive name for himself and he really lived up to it. It was just mad, it was just like, right, tonight you're going out again. Oh, this is a shit night club. Everyone's excited, obviously, it's the first big night out. We've got one of the best clubs in town, and then then day, we're all weekend millionaires times a billion. We're just getting ready every night and just going out and just going to the gym, and we're getting chauffeured to a gym, training, chauffeured back, ready, out, on it, waking up, gym. And I was like, how have I landed? This is job. Hey guys, it's Marnie here. If you want more Geordie OJ videos like this one, then don't forget to like and subscribe now. What are you waiting for?